I actually have goosebumps. So I don't think in my entire five years of being on YouTube have I ever been this nervous slash excited slash scared to film a video before because y'all already know I've never spent this much money on anything in my entire life. Like, and when I say anything, I genuinely mean anything. Like, my camera does not even cost this much and I want to bomb it. If you are part of the Peach fam, you will know that I am quite the bikini connoisseur. But if you are new and my face is new to your screen, then welcome. My name is Alex and I am a mid-size, plus-size lady living in South Africa. Before we get into any of this, if there was ever a time that I needed you guys to show up for me, it is now. If you are new, if you are old, if you have just joined, please click that subscribe button, the like button, and leave a comment. Whatever is on your mind about this whole debate, let's have a discussion below and what you guys think about the bikinis. If you have yourself tried them, what do you guys think about them now after seeing this haul? And do you really think that it's worth it? I really just hope that you guys can please, please, please watch this video from the very beginning to the very end. Watch the ads, grab a cup of tea, grab a drink. I'm probably going to need like a shot at the minute, but whatever you need, get it. Because we are about to review the Kylie Swim collection. So I think it's only fitting that I start from the very beginning. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to give you guys my whole entire opinion on this range. Because... There's so much that's been put online that I have tried extremely hard not to read. So I guess the difference between my haul and everyone else's haul is that this is completely unbiased, right? I have not watched the TikToks. I have not watched the YouTube videos. I have not read the articles. And in general, I see the complaints, I hear the complaints, but I don't specifically know what's going on with them. I was contemplating doing this haul because one, the exchange rate is horrendous <laughs> from South African rands to US dollars. At the time I purchased, I think it was about 15 rand if I'm not mistaken. And these are expensive items. Let's not beat around the bush. Like $80 and $85 for a swimming costume is insane obviously before all of this i didn't know anything about the quality i thought you know kylie jenner is a billionaire and she's got funds resources connections to make an amazing line so picture this i my hands are doing so much because i'm so <laughs> two weeks before maybe even three weeks as soon as i saw the drop i was like i need to do this now i asked my followers on instagram which you can follow me on by the way if they thought that I should go ahead and buy these once we knew about the prices and everyone was saying, hell no girl, that is not worth it. But, you know, if a video does well enough, you can kind of recoup the costs. But like at this stage, I do not know if that is even going to be possible and that's why I need you to keep watching. Now, I knew the prices of these bikinis, but when I just got that like conversion SMS, it really hit home. The total amount of money that I have spent on this situation just for the bikinis right five swimsuits and a sarong was in fact seven thousand four hundred and ninety four rand and ten cents so i did get free shipping but what i did not get was any kind of tax rest because we have ca county tax one dollar twelve cents Los Angeles CO local tax SL $4.50. CA state tax $27. Los Angeles county district tax SP $10.12. What is that? We don't we don't work like that in South Africa. Everything is included already. So this was a bit of a shock to me. The cost of it is exorbitant. We all know that it's basically you're paying for Kylie Jenner's name. Uh, you're paying for her designs and she's one of the biggest celebrities in the entire world so you could imagine that it would be expensive so that happened and i wanted to kill myself right now let's talk delivery 
I made my order on the 18th of September at midnight. I was sitting at my little computer like this, stressing my little heart out because I was so worried that the stuff was going to sell out in a few seconds, like most of her stuff does. I got onto the site, within a few minutes I selected everything, nothing was sold out, thank the Pope, I was so happy. And then I clicked delivery address, um, delivery country, and there was no South Africa. So I was freaking out, I messaged one of my besties and I said, please can you give me your sister's address in England? And she was sleeping, like most people would be. So in my thinking, I quickly remembered a company called Ship It Too. So Brett Robson actually did a video on this, which I will link up here for you. Basically, they give you a US address and I typed in that address, sent it, and then from there they send it to you. Remember, that was on the 18th of September. Today is the 7th of October. I only received my parcel maybe like an hour ago if I'm not mistaken. I don't fully understand why it took so long. I understand that they were uh, probably super busy but it's my address that they gave me from the Shipper 2 company. When I looked on the map they were literally like a 40 minute drive away from each other. So I got a confirmation email on the 18th straight after I made my purchase and it said thank you for making your purchase. All orders are processed in three to five business days. This was on a Friday, so understandable. Not including weekends. After that, standard delivery time within the U US is three to seven business days. I got a email from them on the 25th of September saying a shipment is on its way. And then something started to go wrong. So I messaged them. The tracking number is not working at all. This was on the 27th. I got a response saying, thank you for bringing this to our attention. Upon checking on your order, it was completed slash delivered. I had actually messaged FedEx and FedEx came back to me and said that there was something wrong with the Weibull number. Got back to them and then they said to me, we apologize, the order is still in transit but it was processed properly by our system. You may start tracking your order using the tracking number. That was on the 28th. Of September. On the 1st of October I got an email from Shipper2 saying that they had received my parcel. Basically with Shipper2 there on after you choose the delivery company that you want. The fastest one and the most expensive one was DHL and I thought that it was going to be worth it because I wanted to be one of the first YouTubers to get this going. That costed me another $98, which was about 1,500 Rand. 4th of October, my package was shipped from Shipper2 to my South African address. Got a message from DHL yesterday, which was the 6th of October, saying that I needed to pay customs and let's all get ready to vomit together. So are you ready for it? 4,423 Rand and 75 cents. Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. I'm, I'm praying to the swimwear gods that it's not as bad as everyone is saying, but I have a feeling it's going to be. And you know, after paying that amount of money, I'm literally going to be as honest as possible. Here we go. This is the grand opening. Okay, so we've got the Kylie branding. I thought that it was cute. I thought that it was on brand. I thought it was actually very like my kind of style. I do really like these bags. I think that they are quite cute. Um, they come in these little reusable bags. Let's start with the most expensive one. Oh my god, it feels like nothing. Oh, don't be drilling now. Okay, so we're gonna start with the most expensive. I don't need this right now. I really don't. Oh my god, I'm praying that they have stopped now. We're gonna start with the most expensive. Now this is the one that Kylie Jenner said that it was, was her favorite and this is in a size large. Now I was really scared about the, the sizing because beforehand they didn't give a sizing chart. So kind of just went off of the models that she was posting. Some of the models that they posted on there looked like a little bit smaller than me and then some of them looked a little bit bigger than me. So I didn't really know how to go off of it. Usually I would have ordered an extra large. And I think one of the pieces is an extra large because I was just a bit scared. But 
I'm praying that this fits me. When I got a chance to finally look at the sizing chart on the website after I had a meltdown, it did seem like a large was the right size for me. I'll put the sizing chart up here for you guys to see. This one was the Kylie and this was the most expensive at $85. Let's see where this will amount. I actually have goosebumps. This, I think the, the reason why they're drilling is God just telling me that girl, you should not have spent this much on somewhere. Okay, I haven't even like opened it up. I literally just put my finger on this bikini and I can see straight through it. Oh my, oh my God, I am absolutely disgusted. This cannot be real. Can you guys see my face? Like, oh, I'm gonna vomit. I actually have goosebumps all over my body. I'm really like, I feel like I might even cry. Oh my gosh. What is this? And this is the most expensive one. I'm actually going to throw a fucking tap. <gasps> no, 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 no. It is absolutely see-through. I'm so angry right now. So, off the bat, we have, this is called a monokini, if I'm not mistaken. It's got an underwiring of sorts. The straps are quite thin. They do have adjustable straps, at least. So that's something. Um, are the embellishments insanely well done? No, not necessarily. The clasp at the back is that of a child's. So if you had big boobs and you got this, I'm RIP because that's not going to do much for you. Oh, my, my nipple's definitely going to show. <sighs> and my vagina and absolutely everything else. Okay, um, this is the back. So it is a full thong. If anything, these are my quiver mm -mm. mm. That is the back, so my crack might just be showing. It has like this bone ribbing. Ribbing? Yeah, boning, whatever corset type vibes going on over here. Um, it is a thong, obviously, but is that really going to cover my vagina? This is for a designer vagina, in my opinion. It's got a, a hygiene sticker, at least. Let's have a look at the stitching. Okay, so, so far, the stitching doesn't even line up. Let me take this off and show you. So, maybe you can see what I'm talking about over there. The stitching doesn't line up. You can see over there, that's where that ended, and that ended there. I just feel like she was in a very big rush, and I don't understand, because first of all, she released the shit in October, and for October in the States, and I'm guessing that's where majority of her audience is, is very late, it's in fall. Let's have a look here, because this is when you can really tell. Like, what the f You see this, like, popping out over here. That's not the one. That's not very well done at all. This is worse than Shein. I've done a haul which I'll link up here for you guys to have a look at. And this is the kind of quality that I was expecting from Shein. Not from Miss Billionaire Kylie Jenner. Let's try. Okay, so we have spoken about the fabric. And I actually had to go and put nipple covers on because I'm gonna get demonetized if I don't. It is very small in the front section and I keep having to like pull it apart. You know what, like the thought behind the swimming costume was there, but the execution and the material, absolute zero out of 10. For those of you that have been here for a while, you will know that I'm quite a tall gal. So this is not really working for me. My boobs should probably be like up here right? Not down there. And that is because one, the straps are extremely small and thin, so they can't really give you that much coverage, otherwise this is probably going to snap off. And two, this torso is quite short. So now I understand the world does not make bikinis for tall people, but it's just like a thought that should have gone in. And you can see over here, like I have 
a fourth boob, which is just not the vibe at all. If this was thicker, it would be better suited to women who are mid to plus size. I wonder if you can actually see the nipple cover through. I don't know. Um, this light definitely creates a different illusion to what I'm actually seeing. So when I say things are see-through, I'm genuinely being honest with you. You know, for $85, we are not going to say that it is worth it by any means. I like the design of it. It's not the most original thing on the planet. I do like the boning over here. It just feels like it gives you a bit of support in some weird way. But this is like an extremely high side bikini. And if I wanted my boobs to be up here, I would have to pull it up even more. And then it would literally be like a clip cover. And nobody wants to see that. So I'm going to show you the back now. And I'm going to try and cover most of it but the only thing I really love about this bikini is this detailing over here so it's got like a crisscross kind of tie up so if you were a bit wider I think you could stretch this out more but like this is a full-blown thong my people there's no beating around the butch like it's up the dipper then when I was talking about the back I don't like this at all. This is way too small. All in all, like, not impressed. I have to be extremely careful with my movements, otherwise, whoops, or whoops, and it's over for my whole entire, like, existence. I'll just be mortified if that were to happen. If this is the most expensive one, and it looks like this, then I really just don't know what's gonna happen for the rest of them. Oh, I'm just so scared to try anything else, to be honest with you. Here we go, anyway. Let us see, we are doing another size large, and this one is called the Cut It Out, and this was $80. I just need to like, manage my expectations now, because, guys, this, this is so light and small, like, this is for a child. I'm guessing you guys can see the logo, right? This is actually an embarrassment to society, Kylie. You need to get your shit together and you actually need to take accountability for this because this is absolute bullshit. I think that this is actually for a child. I think, you know, uh, there was even a meme that said Stormy made some of these. And maybe that's very true because how it is so see-through. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera because obviously the light's coming from this side, but like, I don't think that this is gonna fit me. And let's just have a look at the vagina area again. Where's the front and where's the back? Kylie is actually taking the piss right now. There's no adjustable straps here. This, I think, goes under your boob or something like that. Um, and that's what, I mean, this is the size of my head. You know, like, if I'm going to be wearing this, um, it's not like you can wear a bra under your swimming costume or nipple caps or stickers so where is the padding where is the double lining where is anything except for a napkin a few moments later this cannot be a real thing this is the worst fitting swim costume i have ever come across in my entire life. You can probably say to me, all right, Alex, maybe you should have got a size up. But according to the size chart, this is what I should have gotten. And it took me about 20 minutes to get into the swimming costume because I had to like put this over, duck over, like it's absolutely disgusting. Whose boob is this small? What is the reason for this? How is this helping me in life? There is absolutely zero support right now. This boob is full blown about to roll out. This one doesn't even have an adjustable strap. <sighs> this side doesn't go up high enough. It's not thick enough. It's absolutely tiny. It's digging into my sides. <sighs> I'm like furious. This is a scam. Nipple cover is showing straight through, so Lord only know what's gonna happen for the yellow one. The back is a full-blown thong, and it's just not giving at all. There's no... It's not cute. You should be very ashamed of yourself, Miss Jenna.
We've been there, done that with two swimsuits, and this is the one that I was the most excited for. This is August, and if I'm not mistaken, that's Kylie's birthday month, and that's why she called that. But on the model, it looked amazing, specifically like women with dark skin, it looked so beautiful. And they did say that you need to size up in this one. So that's why I got this one in an extra large. The lady who was in the, the model, she was wearing this in an extra large and she looked like she had bigger boobs than me so i th i think that this would fit my boobs but i don't really know and then again like are these just made for women who have fake boobs or are they made for women who have like mommy milk <sighs> lord up in heaven okay here we go i can literally see myself in the viewfinder right now oh my god this is a micro bikini <sighs> I don't think that this is going to fit. Like, also, whose vagina is this covering? A Barbie's. It's like, as soon as this gets wet, it's going to be 10 times more see-through. So what is the point? Are these just for pictures? I don't know. Let's, let's see. Someone needs to call Borat and tell him that I have his um, swimming costume. How did that model fit into this bikini? I'm not trying to be an asshole or anything like that. I'm specifically speaking about the boob area. How did she get her tartars into this little micro coffin? Please make it make sense because that does that. I'm going to be very honest with you right now. And this is my conspiracy theory. Maybe I should leave it for the end. I'm going to leave it for the end. Watch till the end. Straight off the bat, you can see straight into my milk ducts. Why couldn't she just double line the swimming costume? I really have no absolute, like, that doesn't make sense whatsoever. That would have helped, but no. You want to scam us. This area is literally just a panty liner. And if I did any kind of side to side movement, a squat, I got a fright, it would be a crime scene. I do like the design of it. I think that it's cool. I don't like the fact that it's see-through. The back is kind of cute, but like it's a lot. So it's a very high side thong, full-blown thong. Um, and then these over here, this is what you would adjust. So that is one good thing about it is if this is like a bit low, you can make these tighter and then it kind of like pulls your boobs not necessarily up but actually just flattens them this is also a bit weird isn't it it's like you can see my finger the nipple cover is actually coming out but i literally have one two three four five six seven eight boobs i'm not an alien i'm a normal person and i would just like to have two boobs i mean i do like the back i think it's kind of cute i've never seen or had a monokini like this before but like also by the way hoping you guys can see how see-through it is you can full fully see the pink logo over there now but you can literally even see my belly button oh, I'm going to lose my <sighs> pull yourself towards yourself Second last swimming costume. By the way, I bought all of them except for the yellow version of this. And I'm very grateful that I didn't buy that. So they came in their own individual packages, which is a waste of packaging in my opinion. But one thing that's good about this is that you can choose the sizing of the top and choose the sizing of the bottom if you are not equally endowed. This one is in red slash pink gradient. I got the that the bot that's the bottom in a large and then the top i also got in a large oh wow look at that the stitching are you actually taking the piss kylie jenner like was this a joke because april was a long time ago no padding whatsoever how much was this Forty dollars and forty dollars. So I paid forty dollars for this piece of shit. And you know what? It's also see-through. Like, this is not the one. Okay, the only good thing I can say about somewhat is that it has cute embellishments. Um, they have a little bit of weight to them, but like, we're not here to pay for little in thingies on our swimming costumes, are we? And now uh, this is the bottom. Now the reason why I really like the idea of this bottom because it was adjustable. Well, that where's the front? Front or back? 
The front is smaller than the back. Isn't it meant to be the other way around? This is probably the best thing that I've seen so far just because everything else has been absolutely horrendous. Um, stitching on this one, uh, pfft, subpar, still not the best in the world, still see-through as fuck, like there's even like pulling going on over here, but yeah, that's the only thing I do like about it is it has its adjustable straps, um, which I'm probably going to have to make go all the way to the end, as far as I can see, and I hope they actually stay like that, $40. Forty dollars. Okay, this is a micro bikini for sure. Probably should have got a extra large for the bottom because again, I really don't like it when I have like a little baby fold over here, and I like things to be just covering it over there. I mean, what am I gonna say? It's literally just a plain triangle bikini that's very small. I do like the color. I don't have anything like this, and out of anything, it's the least see-through, but you can still see a little bit of Napola over there. You could get this anywhere, there's nothing special about it whatsoever. The bottom I have a big problem with because it's just not enough coverage. I do kind of like the idea of the adjustable straps because as you gain weight or lose weight, you can adjust them and you don't have to. It's sustainable basically is what I'm saying. But like what's sustainable about fabric that's cheap as shit and costs this much for delivery and is an eco-friendly and 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 what do you guys think like am i being too critical i don't think i am like i think i can fully have the rights to be a critic but that's the tea piping hot and our last swimming costume which is the one that i think looked so beautiful on everyone she was posting but like let's have a quick chat about the people that they are posting there's probably one plus size girl Oh, it's another tissue. But what, I mean, what, what, what else do I expect? So this one, out of all of the designs, was the most interesting. But, jeez. <gasps> nah. Fam, how is this happening on an $80 bikini? Can you see these little threads? Like, can you see this disgusting kind of stitching? This was obviously made in a sweatshop. Like, let's be honest. Oh, and there's no hygiene sticker. That's lovely. So who else's punani has been on here? Stunning. Love that for me. This is probably one of the worst stitch bikinis out of all of them. Again, same embellishments. The straps, I will not lie, the straps are kind of nice. Are you besties the jar rule or what's... Because Kendall was in the fire thing, wasn't she? <sighs> That's just... I guess we're gonna have to try it on. This is made for a model. No one else. Kylie Jenner, maybe someone who's had a lot of plastic surgery, but no one else. I can't even show you this because this is the smallest front area out of all of them. This one and this one. Oh dear. Oh dear. Obviously they're the same material so maybe that's why but like they are, oh I'm actually showing. They are unbelievably tiny. There's no stretch to the fabric whatsoever and as soon as you do like try and stretch it, uh, it literally feels like it's gonna break, the seam's gonna pop. So maybe if I got a bigger size, but now, if we talk about a bigger size, the top actually fits perfectly. For me, there's enough coverage over there, still see-through, as with everything else. There's enough, like, support. This actually brings the gals up a little bit. It's an interesting design, I guess, and then the back, again, is a full-blown thongy thong. That's the back support that we have. And then the top over here, just a normal tie top. It's really upsetting because out of all the tops, I feel like this one actually fits the best. I'm just gonna stand like this for the rest of the time. But yeah, it's not flattering on my belly at all. Like from the side, you can see it's like very, it's like pushing down over here and then like pressing out my belly. Um, and I don't like that at all. I would never wear this in a million years. And I'm quite confident. I, I'm probably losing circulation on the side here. It's so uncomfortable down here. I forgot to tell you that. Like, it's really coming out my mouth at this stage. Sorry to be so graphic. I was thinking, yeah, I can sell these afterwards, but I don't even think people are going to buy them because of the honest God truth. I've literally realized I haven't filmed one of these with a sarong. I don't necessarily wear sarongs because I don't really mind what my body looks like. I think sometimes they're for covering, 
but I think that they can be kind of cute as well. So this was in a one size. Um, this was in Sunset Gradient, and I think if I'm not mistaken, this was like $40. Oh, that feels nice. But you know what, like, I don't know what sarongs are supposed to feel like necessarily, but like, it's a good stretchy material, but I thought that this was the most versatile, this like different kind of color. Speaking about the coloring, I really do like it. I think that it is very on trend. Um, I love orange and pink, so putting them together is really cool. I mean, this is really nice material, but like, what are we actually paying for here? That's the tag. It's got a little Kylie thingy over there. And then it says Kylie Swim. These are the labels. I do kind of like the way that these are done because you don't actually damage the bikini by pulling them off. <sighs> they actually... Huh? Is it meant to be like that? Nah, this doesn't make any sense. Is it meant to be like that? <laughs> send help, how are you supposed to wear a sarong? It's so weird, honestly. Maybe I should just hang myself with this thing instead. So these are my final thoughts and please stick around to the end because one, I'm broke and two, I have a conspiracy theory. I want to talk about comparison. So we have, let's take for example, cotton on. So when I saw these, I was like, oh my God, they're so beautiful. They remind me of a Kylie Jenner uh, set. And if you just compare, like let's take these two because they are very similar. See-through, flimsy, no adjustable straps. And then we have this beautifully made fast fashion item that's still extremely well priced at $3.99. It has one, removable straps. It has removable pads. The material is double lined. You can see that this is what Kylie should have done on the inside. Put this like creamy color in so that things weren't see through. Even the fact that Cotton On thought, okay, maybe people want to hang up their swimming costumes and put this little extra piece of elastic so that it can actually be hung up nicely uh, that way like that's saying something the fact that none of these swimming costumes have the ability for you to hang them up and display them is ridiculous like there's no thought behind that whatsoever and these Kylie Jenner bikinis are meant to be premium, high quality, celebrity swimsuits. And then you've got a normal bikini top. There's just so much more detail that went into this than this stupid thing. Like, I understand basics are cool and everything like that, but like, there needs to be some kind of like little oomph about a bikini. If you have a look at the back, like, it's a nice, beautiful, thick fastening. They are, like, these are even like a beautiful kind of like white gold. Kylie just straight up and like straight up said, okay, let's just do silver because it's probably the cheapest. You go to like Black Bow, for example, and you can get a bikini top for like $45, which is quite pricey, but the quality is like a butter. It is insane. I'm sure every single swimming costume is like graded and looked after and double checked and triple checked. These were not checked at all. Last thing, my conspiracy theory. I strongly believe that in the advertising of Kylie Swim, that every single swimming costume was tailor-made to that particular model's body. And Kylie Jenner's ones that she put on were tailor-made to her particular body. But you know what? It is what it is. I took the leap of faith. If you are still here, thank you. I really do appreciate you. Kylie, if you are watching this, I really do hope that you put out some kind of apology. Like I, I'm getting the feel that you're probably going to release some more stuff and I'm hoping to God that you actually take in what people are saying. I hope that your company starts replying to people because this is not it, girl. If you are a huge Kylie fan and you want to buy some of the swimwear, it will be on my Yaga page. If you are from an international place and you would like to buy it, you're welcome to send me a DM on Instagram and we can see what we can do. That is the end of this nightmare. Stay peachy, people.